All right, hello everyone. Um, it is 7 a.m., so of course I have my coffee. We are going to go to a few garage sales, but that's not what the basis of the video is about. Actually, I have an awesome creative friend, and I, you guys know I'm not, you know, too creative. But anyway, we're gonna come up with some really awesome um, Easter basket ideas for a very inexpensive. So come along, we're gonna go find some finds at the garage sale first. Find some finds, not weird. But anyway, so hopefully we can find some inexpensive little items throw in the baskets that, you know, look pretty new. Um, it's so really on. technically a garage sale video, but since we're in the car anyway and headed to some garage sales, I thought I'd go ahead and give you some tips. And one of the biggest tips about garage sales, which I'm sure most of you know, is that you need to get up very early because a lot of the great stuff is taken early in the morning. So that's why we are up at seven. And actually I know some people get up at like at six or something, but we're, um, we're not that, um, on a Saturday, six in, eh, seven's better. But anyways, and also another tip, if you're gonna bring your kids along, I would highly suggest bringing something yummy for them to eat. And we have chosen donuts. <laughs> Are they good? Yeah. Some of them are sprinkled on them. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, All right, that's so as you can see, we are at our first garage sale. And hopefully, I'm going to find some good Easter basket goodies. So, let's go. Oh, oops, almost got run over. Okay, so I just got a couple cute baskets. I'm really excited about this find. So, I've got, I mean, check these out. Isn't that cute? So a dollar for these baskets. And I thought these would be great for like for this big one. It's so cute. And anyway, so and they have a lot of good deals. And as you guys probably already know, in um, most papers and online you can print gift cards and off coupons. So and those are usually on regular price items and that's not the shopping person off. So anyway, the first thing we are looking at is beach pals, and I'm sure you're wondering why are you looking at beach pals? Well, these would actually make great little Easter baskets for kids, and they're so cheap. These are a buck, and they'll make other uses as well, playing in the sand. So um, we're going to get a few, and also um, there's Easter eggs here. My thing is I save my Easter eggs every year, and you should too, because it really does save you money, and you don't keep buying them every year. So but right now, Michael's has all of this stuff for a dollar, and they've got some really cute stuff that would be cute little items to go in the basket. So um, we're going to check it out and see what we can find. I'm so excited, we just spotted. This is all clearance and everything here is 50 cents. This is even better than the dollar store. So, um, I mean, they just have so many guys. Besides the stuff I just showed you over there for a bunch, this whole thing is so dollar. So, I mean, I honestly, this is better than going to like the Target dollar spot. There's so much stuff here. Um, a few things we, because we're trying to find some stuff for the guys in our life. We're gonna um, be showing you guys how to make a guy um, Easter basket. So we came upon a few different things in this one. It's funny, my husband loves pizza, so, you know, you can kind of do some gag things that are funny, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Anyway, so we're gonna pick up a few things here, and then once we get back home, we'll show you all our And um, we're gonna go over some uh, Easter baskets for the bank, like I discussed at Michael's. Um, I wanted to point out that um, just a couple ways to get inexpensive item, items for baskets. And this is the beach pal that we're gonna do for kids, and it's only a buck at most stores. We got this at Michael's for a dollar. Um, and also, this right here was 10 cents, and it was just from last year's Easter clearance. So, like I've said before, on tons of, you know, after holiday clearance items, you just want to stock up and use them next year. So, have a box for them, a Tupperware container, and throw all those clearance items in there, and you'll save so much money next year. Okay, so our first garage sale find, we got these Beatrix Potter classic books for 25 cents each. I mean, which is amazing anyways, and every kid should have these books. So we basically spent, um, let's see, we had six of them, so $1.50, which is very cheap for six books. So those are gonna go in there. And then we got candy, of course, and this stuff was all with all the coupons that have been available lately, so really good deal from those just by watching the sales. Okay, and then I know you guys are probably wondering right now during this whole video, you're like, why is there a six pack of beer here? <laughs> so um, we thought we wanted to do something a little creative. You know, a guy doesn't want, a guy doesn't want this. So, or this. So, you know, we try to think out of the box a little bit and then, you know, you don't have to do, if you're, if you have a guy in your life and doesn't drink beer, you could do other things. But just to kind of think out of the box, we were gonna do, so basically what we're gonna do is maybe leave one beer in here and then fill these with guy related items that guys would like. Um, so we got a couple things here. We've got um, this, we got at Michael's for a buck, all these things. Um, we're gonna do, put those in there. Um, this is a sample I got for free and that's what I was gonna say is, a lot of the samples that you may not use, you might want to request them so you can throw them in gift baskets and whatnot because, I mean, they're great size is to throw in these kind of things. Um, also, I've got body washes. These were free. Oops. 
with coupons. Razors free all the time. We always get those at Walgreens and CVS for free, and these are great ways to show the guy in your life you appreciate him. I mean, who doesn't want a razor and body wash? <laughs> so um, those are a few things we got um, for those. And then for the neighbor or friend we were talking about or a teacher, you could do, I mean, it could be anyone, really. So in these baskets, as you guys saw yesterday, we got these handmade baskets from a garage sale for a dollar each, which is crazy because even at Michael's, we were looking at the price, and some of them were like 10, 20, 30 bucks. So um, really, I mean, and you can't tell if the basket's used or not. So these are so cute. So we have a buck for each of these, and then what we're gonna do is do that theme I discussed with the flowers, which is kind of cute. I mean, Easter is, you know, the beginning of spring, so it's the perfect time to do, you know, different gardening stuff. We're gonna get little seeds. All this stuff was a dollar at Michael's. Even this was a buck at Michael's, which is really cute. We're gonna do that kind of theme in there, and I've got the, the filling, which is gonna be that Spanish moss I showed you guys. Um, and then also, I might throw in this, depending upon if it fits, and as you guys know, we get candles all the time for free, I mean, that's a big freebie, and um, you know, people don't know that, so, but they didn't care. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and build these baskets, and then I'm kinda, kinda gonna let you guys know how much we spend on each one, so you can get an idea, but it's very cheap, so. Um, first, I wanna say, as you guys know, I'm not crafty whatsoever, so I did have my friend help me a little bit, but, I will say, you don't really have to be that crafty to do this kind of stuff. It was really cool, it's not like you have to, like, be an artist and know and honestly it took us about I mean 15 minutes to make all three of these and I know obviously you'll probably want to make more depending on how many people you want to get them for but 15 minutes to make really cute baskets and creative ones is pretty cool so the first one we have is the cute beach pail or pal I guess I say it weird I guess it's pale <laughs> anyways and um what we've got in here, like I said, most of the stuff was a dollar. A couple of the things were only like 25 cents, the garage sale items, the clearance from last year. Eggs I save every year, like I stated, and then the candy deals that we've got going on. So basically with this basket, we totaled it under $7, which is crazy. I mean, under $7 for an adorable basket. And um, the other thing to make kids don't really, kids are just excited to see a basket. I don't think they care so much about how much stuff is in it. That's why a great thing to do is, you know, Put, we put a little beach towel in this one just to kind of give it, you know, make it look fuller and stuff. So that's a great thing to do. You could do a little beach shirt, anything cute like that, and just put it in the bottom. Um, so under seven bucks for this. And then for the guys, which is probably my favorite, I think it's the most creative. We did, we left one beer in there. I mean, you don't have to. You could, you could actually, we were thinking about emptying it and then putting in like candies. You could do chocolates, anything you like. So, um, and then the, these are freebies. And I know you guys have a ton of this stuff in your house. So this is totally free. Um, the beer, I'm not even going to calculate because honestly, my husband drank it. So, and so and this little cardboard thing is free with the beer. So um, the candy again. And then we did a, a cute little um, air freshener. I mean, every guy wants that. We've got the free razor back here. These were really cheap too. So and I don't, I mean, I'm going to say I think for both of it was like a buck. They were on sale when we got them. We got the little pizza tray in the back that was a dollar. And then this is, I forgot to mention this one earlier, but this is one of my favorite parts, is this little film strip. It's so cute. We got this at Michael's. It was $2. It was a little bit more expensive than the other deals, but you can put pictures in of you and your husband. That's what I did for me and my husband and stuff. And um, so all in all, I think this one was, I'm going to say it was more like, I think it was 5 or $6 too, honestly. I mean, this was the most expensive thing, the $2 thing. Most of the stuff in here is freebies that we've just gotten free. And samples. This was a free sample back here. So really easy and really cute and really thoughtful. And then we've got the cute neighbor, teacher, friend one right here. And this was, um, all of this stuff was a dollar. And it was all in that section I showed you at Michael's. And it was like, they had little categories. So it was like a garden area. These were on sale for $1.50 each. So um, with this one, seven, oh, and then the, so like eight bucks, eight dollars. Isn't that so cute? So I'm very proud to say I finally accomplished a creative task. This is amazing. I never believed this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some ideas and are going to go head out and make some cute little baskets for really cheap.